been a minute. Hi everybody, uh, it's the beginning of a new vlog. It's been a hell of a minute since I last vlogged and yeah, I wanted to come in, do a little bit of a catch up. Um, nothing serious, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a week ago was my birthday and I haven't actually picked up a vlogging camera in about, I haven't picked up a camera in about two weeks. Um, if you're wondering what's going on in the back, my machine is going in the back. So I haven't picked up a camera in two weeks. I haven't been to the gym in two weeks. I haven't eaten the best in about a week. Uh, because it was my birthday week and I just couldn't be bothered. And do you know what the funny thing is? I haven't had cake and it was my birthday week. Like, I don't know what's wrong with the people in my life. I don't know what their problem is. I don't know why they feel like they shouldn't be getting me cake. Even though I know that I don't like cake. But, I mean, for my birthday I can make an exception for an easy red velvet nyana or like a, a nice caramel swirl cake thing. I don't know. So I feel like I'm probably gonna get my own cake. It's fine. How are you guys? If it's a little bit shaky, it's because I've balanced you on something. So I just need to remember that. But how are you guys? How you doing? It's a new vlog. I don't know what's gonna be in this vlog. I just felt like switching on the camera and doing a little bit of a catch up session. What I am gonna show you now is some of the things that I got for my birthday. Some things I can't share because it's lingerie. <laughs> So some things I can't really share because they're a little bit on the extra, extra personal side. However, I will show you what I got for myself and what I got. <laughs> You'll be, you're, you're gonna die when you know what I got for myself. When I show you what I got for myself, it's just gonna be like, I thought you can't take us seriously. But I mean, I needed it. So, uh, well, I'm going to show you what I got. I pretty much have been buying things for the house because I'm trying to I'm trying to get the house kind of ready for oh, do I look tired? Oh my god. I'm trying to get the house ready for winter low shedding. We are in the throngs of winter. I'm wearing a t-shirt but don't be fooled. It's a little bit chilly, but today is one of the warmest days we've had in the last 2 weeks, so kind of enjoying that. A week uh so the week before my birthday, the weekend before my birthday, my birthday was on a Monday. So that Saturday before my birthday, a bunch of my friends came over and I'll put up some of the snaps that I took with my phone and all of that. I really didn't want to vlog that day. I was actually quite content with having my mates over and let's celebrate, let's have a good time. I didn't want the responsibility of having to switch my camera on. In fact, I just didn't want to do it. I wanted to enjoy my time with my mates, so that's exactly what I did. And um, I bought myself a dress for my birthday. Um, I bought myself two dresses. Um, um, so I bought myself two dresses for my birthday. I bought one from uh, Witchery, which I haven't worn yet. Um, and I'll show you that dress once I wear it. And then I bought one from H&M as well, which wasn't necessarily for my birthday, but it was for my grandmother's birthday lunch, which was that following Sunday on the 6th. And my birthday was on the 7th. So I decided to just wear a new dress for my grandmother's birthday. And we all went out and we had lunch. I'll put up some pictures, all of that. Um, but also in the last two weeks, just a lot has been going on. Um, two people that I'm really, really close to um, just... Yeah, some, some, some stuff went down, which I don't care to talk about. But it was really a tricky past couple of weeks. But nevertheless, life continues. We move. So I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday. I told you I got two dresses for myself. And I also got myself a pair of socks. Look at these socks. I took out one because Prudence, my friend, when she was here uh, celebrating the birthday things, uh, was cold and I gave her one pair. So I got these from H&M. So it was a pack of five and I got them for $1.79. I actually just liked the color scheme uh, because I wear a lot of boots and sneakers in winter and I realized that I only have these kinds of socks. These ones. 
these ones. See that? See yeah. that? Most of my socks mm-hmm. are those. And then I've got stockings and all of that. But I actually don't have this length of socks. So I decided to pick these up. And I really like the that little cheetah nyana vibe nyana going on there. Look, I would never wear these in such a way that they'd be visible. Like, I'm not a hipster. I'm not a cool kid. I'm not a woke kid. You know what I mean? I wouldn't wear... Um, so my, from my sister... She, I believe she's ordered me a wig. I'm waiting on it. Um, so that's going to happen at the end of the month, which is cool. I don't know if she's ordered it or she's getting it at the end of the month or whatever. But in between that time, um, if you do watch my sister's channel, you might have seen that she got this for the... She got it in a press package or something for SAFTA or something like that. But my sister knows that I love Polaroid pictures. So she gave me, she gave me. Who is she? I don't know who she is, but I love her. And it matches my hair and my t-shirt. So um, she gave me this Fuji film Insta Sna Sna Insta Sna Sna Instax camera, Polaroid camera. And we took some pictures on they all just fell. We took some pictures on the night where uh, everybody was around. That's when me, I was testing it out. Um, she knows how much I love these. There we go. It's going. It's going. There it is. It's going. It's going. Okay. So, I believe you need to shake this. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Uh-huh. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, Balisa got me a new Juve cover. And it's crazy because this new Juve cover is how do I say? It's um it's colors that I have in my bedroom, but not typically colors that I put on my bed. And she got that for me, and I was really, really excited. The picture's coming through. Aww. She got that for me, and I was really, really excited, so I put it on. I'll actually show you. I'll do a little clip, or I'll go upstairs and show you just now. Some gifts I'm not going to show you because I told you what I'm not going to show you. But for my father, he got me this. And this was funny because this is the Narciso uh, Rodriguez uh, uh uh, de parfum. Uh, <laughs> and this, this is the 50 ml. My father has bought me many perfumes over the years, so I'm, I'm quite content that it's a 50 ml. Typically, I like 100 ml, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, and this is actually my favorite scent uh, in the Narciso Rodriguez perfume collections. It's beautiful. It smells very vanilla very powdery, which I love. I'll put them somewhere down here. So my dad got me this, which was fantastic. Thanks, pops. Even though I know he doesn't watch my vlogs, which is actually a good thing. Um, and then mom's, oh, no, 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 no. He also got me socks for winter because he knows how I typically get really, really cold and my feet get really, really cold in winter. That's my machine, it's spinning. So, so sorry. Um, so he got me thermal socks, which he picked up from uh, Discam, I think. Yeah, so he got me thermal socks. Moms, let me show you what Khanya got me. And when I tell you what Khanya got me, I'm telling you she went to her toy box in the playroom that she's got, and she picked this up, and she was like, happy birthday, Kathy. So I guess, I guess that's, that's, this is my, my gift from Khanya. I don't even know what this is, but I love it. I love it. And then from my uh, mom's, <laughs> she knew that, she knows that I read a lot. And she asked me the other day, what do you want for your birthday? I wanna be really intentional with what I get you and blah, blah, blah. I wanna get you what works for you. And then, of course, the first thing I said was these, these two books that I'm looking for, and uh, they're fairly new, they're quite expensive. So and then she said, okay, pick one. And I picked one, and she got me this. So this is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And this is basically follows the story of four siblings that are all grown up and uh, successful or doing well in their own right. Um, and uh, the, I think their parents 
are in the Hollywood business or something like that, but they meet up for a uh, birthday party. They're celebrating something. And everybody who's everybody is there, and it's a party, and it's a good time, and they're famous, you know what I mean? So um, the story follows what happens on that day, like meticulously on the day of the party, what happens at each hour, at each moment, and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, we just basically follow their story. Something happens on that day that brings them closer together or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds very, very interesting. So really, really looking forward to that. And then she knows that I love sweaters. And she knows that I love anything Mickey Mouse. If you guys follow me, you'll know that I have a top from Zara. I'll, you, the, the Mickey Mouse is actually on the back, but... Uh, there's a picture that I took with the Mickey Mouse on the front, so I could show you, so I'll, I'll put that somewhere here. But she got me a sweater with the Mickey Mouse! Mickey! Mickey, Mickey! And it's a hoodie. And, you know I love hoodies. You know I'm always putting them on my head because my ears get cold, and my hair gets cold because in case you haven't checked, I've got short hair. So this part of my head gets cold quite a bit. So she got me that. She got me. <laughs> This one, this one was extremely intentional. As you guys know, I've got six piercings on this side and I've got two on this side. So she bought me uh, stackers, <laughs> which is so cool. These are bra stackers from uh, Lovisa. Stackers, they're just known as stackers because you, you stack them on, right? So um, I can't unfortunately wear these for at least the next four months because what I've got on now are earrings that I can sleep in and I can wash in and whatever, whatever. So they don't uh, change in color or whatever and risk my ear to being infected. So I keep these on for at least the next four months. And then for, this one takes about six months to heal. This, these ones maybe about three months, I think. So I'll keep them on for give or take the next four or five months. But uh, she got me these bra stackers. These ones are silver, and that's what they look like. Really, really cute. Then, got these ones, which are black, which are darker in color, which is really dope, because she knows me. That was actually, she knows me. Um, these are the micro bra stackers as well. Here you've got a moon, a star, flowers. Uh, what do you call those? Shooting stars and all of that. So, really, really cool. Really, really cool. Loved that. Exception. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, aside from the other gifts that I got that I don't care to share on here, because I mean, it doesn't color that. It's sexy. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna share those on here. However, it was a good birthday. It was quite relaxed. Really didn't. Facebook message. Do you guys still get Facebook messages? Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. It was a rather quiet birthday. Uh, there are other things that are going to happen in the month. I will be going away at the end of June. I don't think I will record that one because that's a personal trip. It's just a trip for two, okay? Uh, and then I will be going away. Ah, oh, the pictures come out perfectly. Here we go. And then I also will be going away uh, with my girlfriends at the end of July. So... That's going to be fun. There's a lot of content coming. Um, what I have been reading... Can I just have a sip quickly? I've been talking for a while. Ah, it's so good. Okay, so what I have been reading, what I finished in the last two weeks is this, and then what I'm currently reading is this. So this is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Picked up this book from... Uh, bargain books and not exclusive books. Picked this one up from exclusive books, but I got this one from bargain books. And this basically follows uh, the story. It, well, this follows the life of a girl called Jules. And Jules is what, 23, 24, 25, somewhere there. Um, uh, the book opens with her down out on her luck, just lost her job and also caught her boyfriend cheating, like saw it happening and all of that. It's a thriller, mind you. Um, and then she takes up this job that she finds an ad for in the paper, um, which looks for 
uh, a, an apartment sitter in a very well-known private but very very affluent building in the middle of New York City called the Bar Bartholomew um, so she she goes for the interview she gets the job but then very strange things start happening in this apartment block um, really really gripped me I think I read it in like three days, four days, or whatever, uh, I had to stop reading it because I had things to do in between. However, really, really gripped me, quite interesting, quite enjoyable. Uh, it reminded me a lot of Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware, which is also a, a, a girl, follows a girl who's down on her luck, who looks for a job, finds an ad online, and then she also has to be a babysitter as opposed to an apartment sitter. So... This was nice. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, things... I don't think it slacked anywhere. I feel like it was rather consistent in its pacing. Uh, quite descriptive as well. Um, but it, it... There was one little point where I found it to be lagging. But the, when the twists and the turns and the everything started coming in, I was just like, what the... What? What? what that's that's where i was so um it was really really enjoyable quite 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 enjoyed this one and then one i am reading and i'm very happy that i am here and i'm reading this book because this is my third read from Sue Nyati. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that I started with Family Affair, uh, which is her latest novel. And then I went to The Polygamist, which was her first novel. And then this is the second one. This is The Gold Diggers by Sue Nyati. And I feel like people would think that The Gold Diggers means something like gold diggers, like, you know, you know, the standard meaning of gold diggers. It isn't that. So this, uh, I love this because there is different uh, POVs. There's quite a bunch of characters in this book. And we follow the lives of, I think, six or seven characters who have um, had to make the difficult decision of moving in 2007, 2008, moving from Zimbabwe um, to South Africa because of difficult, you know, political and, moti and economic motivated reasons so they move to south africa and then a lot happens so we just follow their stories you got uh, dumsani you got portia you got lindani you got melusi you got there's a bunch of characters um yeah it just follows it's a really really excellent story which follows the trials and tribulations of the lives of the people who move from um you know, Zimbabwe to South Africa in the hopes for a better life in the City of Lights. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Really good. Really good book. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to read after this. I need to tidy up my book space right over there because I realize I've got a lot of books and now I'm running out of space over there because I've got books upstairs. I've got books down here. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this section and that's what we're going to do now. Um, I'm just going to have my tea and then I'm going to play music in the back while I get my things done. And yeah, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, bye. just woken up and wanted a very basic breakfast not only basic but something that's more like nostalgic reminds you a little bit of your childhood that's this for me Kellogg's cornflakes drenched in milk Psh, honey Hey, I'm upstairs. As you can tell, I wanted to show you what I'm going to try and set up now. I don't even think I'm 
smart enough to set it up. <laughs> but it's worth a try. Uh, so this is actually what I got myself for my birthday. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, so this is what it is. This is a professional condenser microphone. Now, um, the reason why I got this is because uh, I do videos, but also when I do videos that require voiceovers, yes, but also Gus is going to be starting a podcast, <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to give you all, the, all those details today. I want to kind of set everything up first and get it ready. I, for the life of me, do not know how this thing works, but... Hey everybody, it's the next day and as you can tell from the footage before I'm actually taking some shots I'm gonna try and spend my whole day taking shots uh, for Instagram and all of that these are basically product shots and not necessarily shots of myself um, those are the ones that go in between um, you know pictures of me or whatever so I wanted to show you pretty much how I do a setup I don't know if this picture will be up by the time I show you this. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Let me show you. This is pretty much the setup. As you can see, it's on my table. So it's easy, clean beans. And I was like, this is pretty much the fourth setup. So I'll show you how it looks. One to two, of course, incorporate um, books because I read a lot. And then coffee, which is still nice and warm. So I'm going to drink that now. Take a little bit of a break to eat because it is midday so i'm hungry um but yeah i'm gonna take a bit of a break uh the camera that i the lens that i use to shoot these is this one this is the 50 millimeter lens on a uh, 750d camera uh canon and yeah uh that's pretty much what i wanted to show you so this is pretty much how i create some of my shots some of them are taken in the kitchen some of them are taken in different parts of the house but when i want a clean look like this i often just put a sheet or something on top of the table and then i run with it and then i think about things and i pinterest things and i'm you know so it pretty much takes a whole day affair to get maybe about 10 shots of something um, I finish normally around three, four. So yeah, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Um, I tend to want to work right through without eating and I eat later. So I'm probably just going to have this coffee and keep going and look at some ideas and keep going. And then I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. It's the next day. I finished Sunyati's The Gold Diggers and... <laughs> I'll talk to you guys about that one later, but it's good. It's really, really good. Um, I'm, I just wasn't a fan of how it ended, but I'll talk to you guys about that later. Bye. So speaking of reading, I finally finished The Gold Diggers by Sunyati. And of course it is great. It's a great novel. Um, I spoke about it earlier on in the vlog, what it's about. So I just finished it. Definitely a rate of five out of five for this. Um, just really not happy with how it ended, like the stories 
of uh, most of the characters, how they panned out. Um, it's quite sad. It it was quite sad. Um, yeah, I was just hoping that it would end off on a more hopeful note, but it kind of didn't. So, yeah, but I really, really enjoyed it. Aside from that, the writing, everything is definitely a five out of five. I just wish that things could have panned out better for, you know, some of these characters. Yeah. So I'm pretty much going to close off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, click thumbs up, like, do the things, click the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. Really, really would love that. And until the next video, I'll see you soon. Bye.